In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make Mexican free way so you're not eating it's the exact same thing every single day. So I wasn't going to record this because I was just trying it out, but I think it's actually going to turn out really good. Tonight I'm making a uh, Mexican taco recipe and I've done some pulled pork um, and it looks really good. I'm going to show you what I've done. Look at this. So what I've done is I've got a pork let roast from the supermarket. I've cut the netting off. I've cut the actual skin off. And I've got that in the air fryer at the moment. Nice crispy bits. And then I've cut up the pork, put it into a pot with a jar of this uh, chipotle in adobo sauce. And then also a good teaspoon of cumin and a little bit of salt. That is it, I've cooked it for two hours. And look how amazing that looks. How good does that look? And then I'm gonna serve it with some corn tortillas, the traditional way. And then I've got some cabbage here, some cheese. I've got some home canned salsa. This is the best salsa I've ever made. So that recipe that I've got on my channel is the best salsa recipe I've ever tried. And then I'm going to try out my, uh, the corn relish. And I'm going to serve it with sour cream as well. So I'll slice this up and it's going to make a nice crispy element to it. So I'm just going to heat my corn tortillas over the direct flame, just pop them on. I've got asbestos fingers so I can just handle them. So you're just going to, until they start just like drip a little bit, flop them over. And it just makes them more pliable to use. Right, let's grab this. All right, excuse the noise from the air fryer. I decided I need two hands to do this. Let's get some sour cream on there. I know it's not traditional. Oh, I love sour cream. Let's get some of this pulled pork on it. Whoa. Doesn't that look amazing? And then we get some cabbage. So I should chuck some cheese on it first. Some cabbage. A bit of crunch. Maybe some home canned salsa. Some corn relish. Pieces of delicious pork skin. Let's try it. So, the hardest part of that was actually just taking the pork apart and actually taking the skin off and getting that cubed up and put into the pot. And I think that's just so much easier than mm, packaged elder palsa or whatever. I tried it recently and it was horrible. We're going to try it. You got that crispy skin in there. And that pork is flavoured just beautifully. So this isn't really like a recipe or anything. 
It's just a bit of inspiration. So just, just to show that you can actually really change up your Mexican night. It doesn't have to be packaged stuff. You can do something really good with just a couple extra ingredients. Hope you try it out. So I thought to change things up. So I've eaten tacos for like the last two days because I live by myself. So I just eat the same thing until I finish it up. And uh, I thought I'd just change things up. So I'm going to make some nachos with the rest of my pulled pork. So I've got my tortillas here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice them up into chips. I'm going to fry them and then I'm going to put the pulled pork and the cheese and everything on top of them. They're not perfect, but that's just me. I'm just eating them, so I don't give a crap. They're nice and golden. Excuse the noise in the background, it's just the air fryer. I would have normally done the chips in the air fryer, but I had the deep fryer out, so I was like, yeah, stop it, just use it. Get this pulled pork on here. cheese on here I'll be honest I don't think I'm gonna eat those all in one go and we've got some of our corn relish I'll use all that up And then I've got some of this amazing salsa I'll use up as well. And then I've got some coriander or cilantro or some people death. All right, now I'm going to bake this in a hot oven for about 10 minutes until the cheese is melted. Look at that. Does not look good. The little thing is getting the food as well. It's still crunchy as well. And as always, sour cream makes it better. So I hope you give you this one a go. So I've still got some stable pulled pork, so let's make some quesadillas. So these are just my low carb tortillas. Sure. 
pulled pork on it. Spring onions. And some cheese, we just can use mozzarella because that's what I got. Pour it over and into the frying pan. Look at that, nice and melty. So I hope that's inspired you to change up your leftovers. Instead of eating the same thing every single day, change it up a little bit with the exact same ingredients and you've got three different, entirely different meals. Thanks for watching.